The story in Metal Gear games is often a mixture of realism, absurdity, and genuine confusion, with a narrative rooted in the very real Cold War to some less believable scenarios like mind-reading villains and vengeful cyborg ninjas. Metal Gear is both educational and entertaining. I will kill you, or you will kill me. And the story of Big Boss is no different. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Born in 1935 as John, last name unknown, Big Boss entered the US Armed Forces at an unspecified date, adopting the codename Jack because it was so different from John, and fighting in the Korean War, lasting from 1950 to 1953. Here he became the disciple of the renowned soldier, the Boss, and it was under her tutelage that Jack became an elite soldier. Sometime after the war, he served as a member of the Green Berets. In 1964, during the Virtuous Mission, Jack took the codename Naked Snake as part of the CIA's elite Fox unit under the command of Major Zero, where he was tasked with rescuing famed Russian scientist Nikolai Sokolov. The mission was a failure, however, as he was nearly killed by his mentor, the Boss, who defected to the Soviets. After being questioned in the United States about the Boss's defection, More like an interrogation. According to them, I'm a traitor and an accomplice to the boss's defection. They're just looking for a scapegoat. Naked Snake was eventually cleared of any misdoings on the condition that he returned to Russia to assassinate the boss and once again attempt to rescue Sokolov in a mission dubbed Operation Snake Eater. During this mission, Snake found Sokolov in a large military fortress, but the scientist refused to defect again. The former Green Beret was later captured and tortured by Soviet Colonel Yevgeny Volgin, losing an eye in the process. Cut out his eyes. I don't like those blue eyes of his. He then managed to escape with the help of a Soviet contact named Eva, and he went on to destroy Sokolov's Shagohod tank and kill Volgan. Naked Snake reluctantly fulfilled his mission when he was forced to confront and kill his longtime mentor, the boss. There's only room for one boss and one snake. For this bravery, he was rewarded the Distinguished Service Cross and the codename Big Boss from the US President Lyndon B. Johnson, but he refused to adopt the codename out of guilt for killing his mentor. Big Boss was never the same after Operation Snake Eater, as he learned that the entire mission, including the boss's supposed defection, was a ruse set up by the US government in an attempt to track down and obtain something called the Philosopher's Legacy. Blaming himself for her death, because, you know, he did shoot her after all, he retired from Fox Unit and harbored deep resentment towards his country for their manipulative actions. Roughly six years later, as a mercenary for hire, Big Boss discovered that Fox Unit had gone rogue and was now fighting against American interests. Further, he'd been accused of leading a revolt. Confronting his former group to clear his name, he was captured and imprisoned when he met Green Beret member Roy Campbell. After escaping, he and Campbell eventually founded what would become Fox Hound, and then took down the remaining members of Fox Unit. While this was taking place, Ocelot and Major Zero obtained the Philosopher's Legacy and created the Patriots. And Big Boss was later invited to front the group whose purpose was to honor THE Boss's final wishes of a unified world. Tensions quickly arose between Zero and Big Boss, however, as Zero spread misinformation about his comrade. Afraid of Big Boss quitting the Patriots, Zero began a secret project known as Les Enfants Terribles that produced the cloned sons of Big Boss in liquid, solid, and solidus snake. The forbidden fruit. Appropriate. Enraged over the project, Big Boss broke from the Patriots and left both the United States and Foxhound behind to fight as a mercenary in the world's many wars. Founding the Militaire Sans Frontières two years later in 1972, also simply known as MSF, Big Boss stationed his army off the Colombian coast in an operative plant known as Mother Base. I gotta thank you for agreeing to this snake. Man, am I glad to be out of here. Joined by his new second-in-command, Kazuhira Miller, Big Boss discovered that a mysterious enemy, known simply as Cypher, brought nukes into South America in an attempt to revive Cold War tensions. He also learned about the Peace Walker Project a bipedal, nuclear-equipped weapon that would launch a nuke on Cuba from a U.S. base and all but assure Soviet retaliation. In an effort to stop Peace Walker, Big Boss recruited its creator, Huey Emmerich, to MSF, but it was ultimately the tank's AI, created in the likeness of the boss, that sacrificed itself and averted nuclear war. Knowing that Peace Walker's AI chose to lay down its arms, a direct betrayal of the boss's real persona, 
Naked Snake finally adopted the codename of Big Boss, no longer concerned that he was unworthy of his mentor's title. Snake, there's no point in beating yourself up over the past. Miller and Emmerich then convinced Big Boss to build the first Metal Gear, dubbed Zeke from the scraps of Peace Walker. But shortly after completion, Zeke was stolen by an undercover cipher agent who blackmailed Big Boss to join the group or be framed for a nuclear strike on the United States. Big Boss refused and defeated Metal Gear Zeke, only to find out that the entire Costa Rican mission was a setup by Major Zero, under the cover of Cypher, to allow Big Boss the opportunity to create and grow the greatest non-government military operation in the world. Zero hoped Big Boss would rejoin him in Cypher, previously known as the Patriots, and use his MSF army to carry on the boss's mission. But in refusing to be blackmailed and destroying Zeke, Big Boss made it clear how he operated by his own rules. His troops would instead serve under any group that needed them, regardless of country or ideology. One year later in 1975, Big Boss and Miller received a request from the International Atomic Energy Agency to inspect Mother Base for nuclear weapons. Knowing that Cypher likely tipped off the agency, Big Boss sent all of his nukes to the mainland in preparation for the inspection. But it would be XOF forces, commanded by a highly disgruntled man named Skullface, for obvious reasons, that ended up assaulting Mother Base, and not Cypher. Seriously injured by an explosion during the assault, Big Boss fell into a nine-year coma. Miller and an injured medic were also treated alongside their leader, with the medic being placed into an artificial nine-year coma as well. You too can only bear to speak with me from time to time. That's fine. But I don't want Snake to die. Surely we can come together on that. Unbeknownst to Miller, Major Zero intervened to protect Big Boss, turning the injured medic into a replica of the famed soldier, codenamed Venom Snake, with the intention of the medic assuming the role of Big Boss, while the real Big Boss receded from the public eye, awakening from his coma in 1984. The real Big Boss was briefed on the identity swap and reluctantly agreed to partake in the illusion. For the rest of the 1980s, Big Boss secretly fought in numerous wars and conflicts around the world while building up the ultimate military nation of Outer Heaven. In the early 90s, he finally returned to the public eye, once again assuming the lead of Fox Hound. In 1995, the US found out that Outer Heaven was building their own Metal Gear and tasked Fox Hound to destroy it, not knowing that Big Boss was behind both organizations. Big Boss first sent Grey Fox to Outer Heaven, but he was captured. Next, he sent his son, Solid Snake, to rescue Grey Fox and destroy the Metal Gear. In an effort to slow his son's progression, though, Big Boss fed Solid Snake false information in order to buy enough time for Metal Gear's completion. Despite the bogus information, however, Solid Snake rescued Grey Fox and destroyed the Metal Gear, killing who he assumed was Big Boss in the process, but it was really only Venom Snake. With the death of his Phantom, the real Big Boss went into hiding. Two years later, he found himself fighting for Zanzibar province to gain its independence from Russia and he became its first president. He recruited war orphans and raised them to be elite soldiers in another military nation, much like Outer Heaven. He also founded the creation of another Metal Gear, Metal Gear D, to protect his newfound kingdom. Like in Outer Heaven, Big Boss had to battle Solid Snake and once again was defeated, and the Metal Gear was once again destroyed. However, his burned and dying body was removed by the Patriots and injected with nanomachines to keep him alive in a forced coma where his genome was used to create a new group of super soldiers unlike the world had ever seen. By 2014, some 17 years later, a tombstone was laid for Big Boss next to the Boss's grave in Arlington National Cemetery reading, a hero forever loyal to the flames of war rests in outer heaven. But within the grave was Solidus Snake, an exact genetic match to Big Boss. That same year after Solid Snake, not Solidus, destroyed GWAI, which was the Patriot system for controlling the United States, the nanomachines within Big Boss deactivated, and he awoke from a nearly two-decade coma, reuniting with his, air quotes, son, Solid Snake, and burying the long-term hatred between them, Big Boss told his son to spend the rest of his days in peace, not at war. In doing this, he also knowingly exposed himself to the Fox Die virus carried by his son, and thus Big Boss lived out the final moments of his life sharing a cigar with Solid Snake before dying at the foot of his mentor's grave, bringing the epic story of Big Boss to a fitting, confusing conclusion. This is good, isn't it? Thanks for watching Mojo Plays. Be sure to subscribe and click on the link in the description below to check out our suggestion page and vote on what content you'd like to see us cover next.